<sighs> bro are you done my day's work is done and mm. if you remember tomorrow we have a trip starting so let's oh, go back to wham yes. pack the bags but right. sir uh, there is a issue na uh, uh, maine kal jo guest house book kiya hamare liye mm. wahan pe khana cook karne ki facility nahi hai there is oh. no gas stove uska oh. kya solution kare you need a solution for it right. and you need homely food i'll give a solution to it come chaliye technology is there with us yes okay guys So here is the solution, bro. Yeah, we can take this induction cooktop with us, and you know, enjoy eating our food in the apartment that we are going, and so that our trip is really memorable. Uh, so, sir, you are uh, sales from electronics. So, can you please uh, talk more about its basic principle, how it works? Why not? Sure, I'll do. Let's go to the studio and understand this. The basic working principle behind this device is the phenomena of electromagnetic induction. Yes, so first of all, let's quickly learn about the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and that is how this device got the name induction coming up from electromagnetic induction and hence we call it as the induction cooker. Let's learn about it. So it was back in 1820 when Christian Oersted found that when an electric current flows through a wire, it is going to produce magnetic field around it. Yes, that is he took a piece of uh, wire carrying a current and when he placed a magnetic compass near it there is a deflection in the magnetic compass needle around it yes so around this discovery it was clearly proved that electricity and magnetism are related to each other and during that time michael faraday gave it a reverse thought right first what we came to know is that yes an electric current flowing through a wire would produce magnetic field what faraday thought is can magnetic field indeed induce electricity can the reverse happen he kept on experimenting for several years and it was somewhere after 10 years that is in 1831 when he finally came up with the sketch of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction faraday in one of the experiments took a coil of wire connected to a galvanometer and a bar magnet nearby it he found that when the bar magnet is stationary there is no deflection in the galvanometer but when this bar magnet was moved slowly towards the coil of wire there was a certain deflection in the galvanometer and also when the bar magnet was moved in the opposite direction the galvanometer showed a deflection in the opposite direction as well this clearly shows that the movement of bar magnet which produces the changing magnetic field because we know that field is a function of distance so if you bring it closer or away from the coil of wire the field strength accordingly increases or decreases in the wire and that magnetic field is inducing the current in the wire and that is proved by the deflection in galvanometer which clearly says that there is some current electricity induced in the wire in an another experiment he wound two separate windings or an iron toroid yes one of the circuit was connected to a battery another circuit was connected to a galvanometer when the switch uh, connecting the battery was closed when the switch was closed the magnet the current started flowing in this particular circuit and that gave gradually a rise to magnetic field when this magnetic field started rising what faraday observed was a deflection in this galvanometer although there is no source connected to this particular wire but still there is a current because there is a deflection in galvanometer we can say that there is current in this second particular winding right eventually after some time when the current and the magnetic field in the first circuit became constant the deflection also stopped right when finally the switch was again disconnected okay that eventually made the magnetic field to decrease the current to stop and the magnetic field to decrease due to this particular current and that decreasing magnetic field again showed a deflection here what does that prove that whenever the magnetic field is constant okay it does not induce electricism it does not induce any electricity but if there is a changing magnetic field it induces magnetic field in circuits connected around it that is what is once again i to say faraday's law of electromagnetic induction okay so now let's also talk about some direction analysis of these particular magnetic fields which is primarily governed by the right hand thumb rule yes first of all consider a straight current carrying conductor carrying some current i and to decide the direction of magnetic field what you can do is place the thumb of your right hand yes place the thumb of your right hand along the direction of the current the direction in which your fingers curl the direction in which your fingers rotate will decide the direction of the magnetic field as you can notice here right and also if i switch the direction of current if the current goes downward the direction of the magnetic field will also is going to reverse also what about uh, the direction of magnetic field if the current is flowing in a circular piece of wire that also can be understood by this particular image and again that can be illustrated by the right hand thumb rule if i have a helical loop of wire yes let's have a look into the magnetic field due to it and not only the magnetic field due to it due to a current flowing it if you keep changing the polarity of the current have a look into it yes if you keep changing the polarity of the current right okay 
if you keep alternating the current, the direction of magnetic fields would be alternating and that will give rise to a pulsating magnetic field. That is what is one of, again, the primary focus, primary uh, uh, method onto which induction cooking is uh, to be relied on. Let's have a look into the internal of the induction cooker as well. So if I remove the top ceramic plate of the induction cooker, this is how the internal diagram would look like. Now for us right now in this video, there are two important things in this particular internal diagram. One is the coil and another one is the oscillator circuit uh, that is supplying the alternating current to it. Okay, first of all, let us understand this, you know, rough explanation of this oscillator circuit and to understand the rough understanding of this oscillator circuit, have a look into this particular animation. So suppose a battery is connected to the two ends of the copper coil and if I just keep changing the polarity of the battery, something like this, if you're able to see, okay, that means I am changing the direction of current every time because I'm changing the polarity of the battery. And because of this changing direction of current, there will be a pulsating magnetic field as I just explained you a few moments back, right? And that pulsating magnetic field, that changing magnetic field is going to induce electricity around it as per the, as in accordance with the Faraday's law. Now, next, if you place a suitable cookware on the top of the induction, cooker due to this pulsating magnetic field generated by the coil inside this induction cooker that pulsating magnetic field is going to generate eddy currents in the bottom plate of that utensil and that eddy current gives rise to the heat yes that eddy current is responsible for the heating of the utensil and that heating is responsible actually to spread to heat the food evenly that is put up on this particular utensil and that clearly means because this heating is due to the eddy currents you can only place the materials the utensils which are made up of ferromagnetic materials say for example stainless steel or iron what happens if you place aluminium or copper utensils we can't place it over them because the food is not going to be heated and this is pretty much the reason key you know suppose you just place your hand on this uh, mic on this induction cooker okay and you just switch on the induction cooker you're not going to feel don't worry you're not going to feel any sort of heat or any sort of burning sensation in your hand but yeah be careful once you have heated up the food in any of the utensil like stainless steel okay after that please don't try to put off your hand because already the heat had been generated some portion of it would be left for some time right yeah but if initially it, if you start out power on this induction cooker and try to place your bare hands as well nothing is going to happen because the phenomena that is going to heat up the food is because of the generation of eddy currents and that is why ferromagnetic materials only would be responding to it so I hope you have understood the working principle of induction cooker and also, you know, two or three significant uh, benefits. There can be multiple benefits, but two or three significant benefits of using induction cooker could be number one is its safety factor. As I just told you a few moments back that even if you place your hands directly over it, it's not going to harm your hands. Number two is its speed. Yes, it cooks the food much. It cooks the food much faster as compared to a gas stove or, or an oven. And also its energy efficiency. Yes, it is more energy and environment uh, compatible device. I can say. So, guys, let me be very honest. A lot of effort is required in bringing such content and making such animated videos for you. So, do subscribe the channel if you want more such content. And at the end, I request you mention in the comment box that how you found this video beneficial. Did you gain any knowledge? And yes. Yes, if you really liked it, mention in the comment box what else you want me to bring, what all technologies you want to listen. Definitely will bring up videos to enhance your gate level preparation because, you know, the basic working principle as you saw was electromagnetic induction and that is one of the topics of gate syllabus, ESE syllabus as well and that's what is the intention of learn with fun. Make your gate learning fun by looking into the practical demonstrations of the devices around you, right? If you really liked it, at the end, do not forget to hit the like button button mark your attendance bye bye thank you stay safe and take care of yourself